Get in. We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Not so fast, Roach. Monsters! Monsters from the swamp! Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked. Ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart. But I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you. I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Tracks rode off into the swamp. Here's the cart. Carts oh, riddled with arrows. I should take a look around. around. he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. riddled with arrows.
Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. May the sun shine upon you. Shit in a Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Girmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it, too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. You can go, but I'm keeping the medicine. Nilfgaard will find you and kill you anyways. Why should it go to waste? Take it, and choke on it. Run, Roach. Not so fast, Roach. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. 
dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. Too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye. But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Good day, yeah. Good day. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are old. 
older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Either Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffin's pair off when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done the okay. Should talk to Vesemir. That the other side of the river. By the wood. Or in Climax. Good. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad. Human's good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Got good news and bad news. Good news first. 
Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Step away. of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? 
Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! to die! could stand to improve some things. For example? Upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn.
low now. Whoa! Ah. Make way! Ooh. Make way! What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten! I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Not so fast, Roach. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? 
patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hanged my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the birth, no. and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Ah. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed it. Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry, wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have.
Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, we shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. 
General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squirtel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muy. You were there and once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Not at all. I meddled in a personal affair. Helped Yorvith lift the spell that held Saskia. Yes. And in doing so, gave Radovid a reason to begin his witch hunts. Congratulations. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. At an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments.
Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. A veggie directly out of Nordling tales. You can't see them. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Vavort! Sheigenatuvin. In 
grimi et art cater. Dyfen aden in carn eb marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Pieces. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman discusts. Need not bother. <laughs> 